Hello, I am Kyle with 5-Minute Guide and Indelible Ink, and today I'm going to show you how to install PHP 7 on uh, OpenSUSE Leap 42.1. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into sudo, or into root, every single time, every single time, it's ridiculous. Um, we're going to go into root using su space dash, and then uh, password. Uh, then we're just going to go uh, zipper update. Um, if you already ran an update today, you don't need to run one um, again. Um, but I just like to make sure that all our repositories are up to date because they do do changes occasionally. All right. So now that, that is already updated, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to zipper in PHP 7 and PHP 7 dash mysql um, and what that's going to do is it's going to search for you know all the php7 and whatnot packages there's uh, quite a few of them uh, so as you can see up here there's actually 12 new packages that's going to be installed and there's eight recommended ones that are automatically selected uh, for installation as well uh, there's nine suggested ones um, so if you wanted to install these you could um, but i'm just going to go with the uh, suggested ones and the ones that were standard so those are all getting installed nice and quick like okay and so now um, what we're going to do is go a2 and mod and php7 okay and now what we can do is we can go to our test um, area uh, cd srv www ht docs um, and in there we have index.html uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to move that and go index.html and we're going to change that to index.php okay so I just altered that to index.php now we're going to edit it And we're just going to highlight everything, and we're going to change this to um, open caret question mark PHP. Next line will be PHP info. Open close brackets or whatever those things are. Okay. Uh, and then uh, semicolon, uh, and then a question mark close caret. Okay, so what it looks like that, you know, what those things are called isn't really necessary, I guess. Uh, hit save. Um, and if you're doing this on a non-graphical interface, then, you know, just save it how you would normally save it. Um, and I like to just restart um, Apache whenever I do uh, modifications to it, like the, the end mod. Um, adding it, uh, you know, into that. Um, don't think it's actually necessary, but I don't know. It just makes me sleep better, I guess. Um, so if we go to, actually, let's go to just some random site, and then let's go to localhost again. As we can see, it is loading up for the PHP version seven, um, and so this will give us all the information that we, you know, don't really. Don't really need right now, but you might need in the future. Um, but uh, but this actually lets us know that PHP is actually running. So yay, it worked. Everything's good. Um, if you like that and you would like to leave a comment, leave a comment in the comment area below. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment in the comment area below. And also, if you would like to see anything else here um, on our channel, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment area below. Um, also, if you did like this and you would like to see more, um, subscribe and leave us a like um, if you found this helpful. So, uh, thank you and um, look forward to doing more videos. All right.